On it just leaked a brand new Cup Buddy in Bee Swarm Simulator, so in this video, I'm going to be explaining what it is and exactly how you're going to be getting it. Alright, now starting off, here's the Cup Buddy on screen. Honestly, it looks really, really cool. It actually looks like some sort of astronaut Cub Buddy, which is really weird, but that's going to come in play once I explain to you guys how you're most likely going to be getting the Cub Buddy. Now, there's two ways you might be getting this Cub Buddy, and I'm going to explain both of them. Now, the Cub Buddy really has to do with stars, in my opinion. I mean, it's literally in an astronaut suit, so... I would assume it actually has something to do with the Star Hall. Now, would you get it from generating a bronze amulet? Probably not. This is way too easy. Same with silver, same with gold. But now when it comes to diamond and supreme, I feel like that's when it starts to come into play. And keep in mind, this is only method one out of two. Now, when I first saw the Cub Buddy, I thought that it was going to be from the diamond star amulet. This is because the Cub Buddy is themed blue and not green. And the only blue star amulet is the diamond one. Not to mention, it's very hard to get. So it would make sense that it's it's the diamond one. It's not crazy easy to get, but it's also not crazy hard. But I'm also starting to think maybe you will get it from a Supreme Star Amulet, considering Cub Buddies aren't something easy that you get, considering they cost like 2,000 tickets in the ticket tent. So I would actually think that you're going to be getting it from generating a Supreme Star Amulet. Now, how exactly? Because I feel like it'd still be a little too easy to get a Cub Buddy if you could just generate a Cub Buddy on the first try. So I would think that every time you generate your Supreme Star Amulet, you have a small chance to generate that Cub Buddy, and then it'll give it to you as a reward. Given it would be a low chance, maybe like a 5% chance, so it'd be a rare Cub Buddy, but as long as you're experienced enough in the game, you should be able to have enough honey to afford it. Now, moving on to method number two on how you're supposed to get this. Now, you guys know that every single year, a new exclusive Cub Buddy skin comes out just for Beesmas, and for a couple of years, you would get it from completing Bee Bear's quest, but there was also a year where you could get the exclusive Cub Buddy from the Bee Bear's catalog, so it's not guaranteed, but I would think that you can actually get this Cub Buddy from Bee Bear's catalog. Based off of the prices before, it'd be about 25,000 snowflakes and 250 gingerbread bears to buy, or you get it from completing Bee Bear's final quest, this Beesmas. Or it might have something to do with the trading hub. Now keep in mind, we don't have that much info on the trading hub yet, but there is a chance that you get this Cub Buddy somewhere in the new trading hub. But on it's going to release how to get it soon, and I promise I'll post a video explaining exactly how to get it once the Cub Buddy comes out. So honestly, if you don't want to miss the video, you don't even have to subscribe. Just hit the bell as it's way more effective. So thank you so much for watching, guys, and I will see you in the next video.